Shit, I mean, you told me you ate all the cereal. I mean, well, if it ain't no milk, how the cereal go? I mean, where the cereal go then? Man, get out of here, man. Anyway, what's going on, y'all, man? I'm sorry, man. People just be talking to me, man. I be trying to talk to y'all, man. It's crazy. Yo, what's going on, man? You already know who it is, man. It's me, the one and only. Back at it again with another video, man. Listen, bruh. We got another interesting video, man. Y'all been wanting me to check out. It's a white guy that got his hair cut from a black barbershop. You know, y'all always want me to check out these videos, man. I, I understand why. I, I, I really, I really understand why y'all want me to check them out. But you know what? We just gonna see when this what it's hitting for, man. Listen, speaking of the barbershop, man, I need to get my cut ASAP Rocky, you feel me? But it should be interesting. You know, you really don't tend to see a lot of white people at black barbershops. You don't. But I'm interested to see what his take is. So before we hop into it though, you need to hit that like button, you feel me? And with that, we gonna check this out. See what it's hitting for, man. I go to get my hair cut today, and I live in Norco, and it's all white people. Right? So I go to the white barber like I've been doing her for the past 18 years. I go in. 18 years. So he said 18 years. So for almost 20 years, you've been getting your hair cut by a white barber. What made you want to switch up and go to a black barber? Because I know if, you know, I've been getting my hair cut by black, by black barbers, you know, all my life. I would never think of going to, you know, a white barbershop and getting my hair cut after, you know, so many years of going getting my hair cut by a black barber, you know? I'm curious to see why he did that. And there, there's my barber and there's a little line and there's this black dude. I've never seen him before. He's a new hire. And this angel from St. Sent directly from heaven is just there, and no one's going to him because we just some racist motherfuckers out here. Don't ask me. <laughs> and I was like, you know what? The but you know what though? I, I I feel where he's coming from, but it doesn't always have to be that. You know what I'm saying? Don't get me wrong. It it it, it is like that a lot of times, but you know sometimes, man, because that happens even in black barbers. Like sometimes, you know, there's there's that one barber. You know, it's normally the person in the first chair. You know what I'm saying? You don't really be going to or the chair all the way in the back. You know what I'm saying? Where they be throwing like the, the people that, you know, the, that just first started or whatever. A lot of times, you know, you don't really, you go to you go to what you know, right? A lot of times, you know, you just, you go to what you know. Now, sometimes it's like an unwritten thing. Like it's an unwritten rule in the black community. I don't know how it is in any other community where, you know, you go to a barber and that's your barber, right? Like, you don't get your hair cut by nobody else except that barber, right? Um, in some places, you know, cheating on your barber is worse than cheating on your girl. Like, it just, it, don't ask me why, okay? I don't make the rules, okay? But <laughs> when it comes to this dude, you know, I, I get what he's saying. Nobody going to the black dude because, it's, you know, mostly white people go. You know, a lot of times, you know, certain people feel more comfortable with certain people handling their, their shit. You know what I'm saying? It's a reality. Bro's new. I'm going to give him a chance. So I sit down in his seat. And everyone's kind of looking at me like. And the dude is wearing J's. So I already know he knows, like, his he got a J's on. He got some uh, True Religion jeans on. And he got, like, a little Nike dry He's like, hey, what's Gooch, bro? Like, what can I get started for you today? What you want? So I was like, uh, can you clean me up, please? He's like, yeah, bro, I got you. I'm finna invert taper. Two's on the side. Finna clean up the top. I was like, I don't know what the, I don't know what that means. I heard my black face <laughs> talking about it, but I don't know. One hour, y'all. One whole hour he cuts my hair. White people do not do that shit. It's only like 15 minutes. And he's Now, here's the thing, though. Here's the thing. I, I, I like what he's saying, though. Here's the thing, depending on your cut, right, depending on your cut, it could take a while, right? Like, if you want, like, a whole crazy, like, design or some shit, it could take a long time. Um, for the longest time, I, I just got my, my shit cut, um, you know, I just got my shit cut real low, kept it dark, you know, and just make sure you fade the back, all right? Uh, before that, I used to get my, <laughs> I used to round... I used to get my back rounded out, you know what I'm saying? For those of y'all that don't know, like, 
when you fade the back, like it literally is just like a fade, like from the top of your head to to you know your to, to your neck for the most part. Um, now, what you talking about is a taper, like when you want to uh, taper the sides. You know, it's pretty much like you you know what I'm saying like a, like a drop fade. Um, it's pretty much when you want to fade like you know fade like right here. You know what I'm saying? That's what I just started getting at the at the at my barber. Um, I don't want to get too technical, but you know that's pretty much what he's talking about. Now, obviously, with his whole style that he got right here in this video, you know what I'm saying like he he really hooked his ass up for sure. And a lot of times barbers do that, especially to like their newer clients because they want them to come back. You feel me? So they're gonna hook you up the first go around because they want you to come back. You know what I'm saying? So. Hey, you going? Sitting there, and the mother has a briefcase, a briefcase with clippers. I didn't even know there was other clippers. I thought there was one. So he get going, and he's talking to me about life. We talk about girls. We talk about balls. We talk about. He made me feel at home. And then you know he ends, and I've heard, I've never heard these clipper noises. There's different noises. He's taking his time and stuff. Bro. So then he answered, all right, dude, you're good. Let me show you. So he takes, he's showing me like everything and I, with like a mirror. I've never seen the back of my head before. In this <laughs> is... I've never seen the back of my head before. <laughs> Look, that's just, that's just a mandatory thing. Like once the barber's done with you, he shows it to you, you hold it. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times what he does is he'll, um, like you'll be facing this way and the back of your head will be facing the mirror in the back so you can pretty much get a reflection of what the back of your head looks like okay very thorough if you go to a, a, a thorough barbershop in the hood like that's what they're gonna do most of them do it but um yeah it's just standard practice you, you I need to know especially if you want to do something to the back of my head like I need to see what you did especially if I'm gonna pay you for it you feel me but my man had a revelation in there <laughs> Bro, look how crisp those freaking lines are, dude. Crisp. So then I'm about to get up. He's like, oh, hold on, bro. He takes this warm towel, bro, and puts that shit on my neck. Oh! <laughs> bro, black barbers <laughs> are sent from heaven. You guys are miracles. Thank you. White people need this. Thank you. Bro, every black barber out there, I don't know if y'all get. Bro, yeah, I'm so ah, I'm so Yeah, he hooked you up, man. He hooked your ass up, man. If you see this video, just let I mean you probably won't, because who the fuck am I? But you know, just letting you know he hooked your ass up, man. He wanted you to keep coming back. <laughs> Sorry that my white people are just mean to y'all. You, you guys are Hey, I'm Talon and this is Rumpus. Come on, and man. To start an online t-shirt business. Let's go. First, go to shop. That's it. Oh man, oh man. But yo, that's that's pretty much gonna be it, man. That was that was pretty crazy. Nah, man. But he was saying a lot of real shit, man. A lot of times, you know, um, you know, it, it's it's a different kind of experience, man. You know, um, but it would probably be a different experience if I went to like a a supercuts or some shit. You know, I've never stepped foot in that place. Never plan on stepping foot in that place. You know, um, cause they be cutting hair with scissors and I don't, that's not, nah, you need some clippers to deal with me. If you ain't got no clippers, I'm walking out. That's it, you know, that's it. But nah, man, this was dope. Link to this uh, video will be down in the description below, man. Um, this is, it's always interesting to hear other people's perspectives on stuff, you know what I mean? But yeah, man, that's gonna do it. They lit, be you and stay true, man. Peace.